finally found time to unpack this bad boy over here. Yeah, this is uh, this was recommended by my uh, Uber driver in New York City. This guy, he says he's not leaving home without it. <laughs> so this is one of their more expensive models. It's a, called Three Channel. So you see it has one camera facing forward and then they all spin and you can basically, I can even rotate it and, and point it towards myself. Like, you know, if I'm a cab driver, right? I can, so this will sit like this. So now basically I'm, I attach that piece there. It's pretty, pretty much like plate like this. And then I give you this, right? So you attach, you take off one side, you attach this and then you take off the other side and you stick it to the window. And actually it's pretty, pretty cool. Like they give you all these for, uh, you know, holding the cable. Like for now, I just, I remember I did something like this on my truck. I just use, you see, you know, for now I just want to see how it works. So I just put one in here under the visor and then I use the handles. You know, I don't care, right? I don't have, I'm the only guy using this car. I, I'm not going to have any passengers anywhere there. And then the re and then this goes like this, but I might use these in, in here to hook it up to that uh, to that section over there because my 12 volt is there. So because I don't want I don't want this thing to you know hang like this because it's distracting because it's it's right you know it's blocking my mirror. And so so yeah, this will go in here. And this will go somewhere like this. Yeah, as long as it's underneath somewhere like this, I don't care. And then I, I put one of these probably on this section here. But, you know, again, I'm the only guy here, so nobody's using this visor. And then uh, I can even rotate it around the mirror. And so it has one camera facing forward, like I said, right? So, and you can flip it any way you want it. Like you can flip it this way, that way, and it goes like this and, uh, and it goes left and right. And so one camera will be recording me. And I think in the car, since it's very quiet here, it should be, the audio should be okay. But the most cool thing is that the third channel, as they call it, is this little baby over here, right? It's the same deal. It has a like 3M thing. You connect it over there. And I was at first afraid like that. I, I didn't want to put it on the, on this, on the heaters, right? And then I, wait a second. I have a spot in here, right in the middle. So I line it to this. That's the middle. And then it comes with those two bolts and so screws they require a real tiny baby screwdriver and i just lift it all the way up it's pretty much it's touching the the window but if you want you can you know you can put it down like this and you can mount this anyway you can even mount this on the side and actually the i bought this uh the original idea was to install it in my truck you know after all these Oh yeah, and also because my seat's open here, right? I was able to hide the rest of the wires. They're pretty much in my trunk. You yeah, see over there? When I open the window, I mean the, <laughs> the seat, I was able to, to... Oh wow, you can hardly see it. You see the, the camera? It's right in the center pretty much. So now I have this parking assist camera and now I have that uh, doesn't look like it uh, I think I should push on it you see uh, the it's touching all the on the corners but that camera doesn't weigh anything it doesn't weigh like it's very light it should be okay but let me see if I can I can push it a little bit somehow. Yeah. 
Oh, a little bit better. But if that thing even falls off, Even if even even if it falls off, at least you know it'll go down there. Just in case you know somebody hits you from the back. But this one, they said wait it at least wait at least uh, 20 minutes after you attach this. I like this this is you know no suction cups so this is pretty solid and so that rear camera plugs in that's the cable from the rear camera it plugs in where here on the left here at the bottom and then that's power the SD card is already in and they say you have to format it right and then so this should be this should be sitting somewhere like this Right, so this will be pointing at me and this will be pointed this way towards the front and then I, I might be able to do like a picture yeah I might be able to do picture in picture you know maybe combine combine three uh, three feeds I don't know if my MacBook allows three uh, videos. Like I, I did a picture in picture before, but you know, basically one main video and then uh, another one. But I think I should be able to do three, three feeds, we'll see. But basically, yeah, so I wanted to install this in the truck and then realized that, you know, in the truck, I don't have a rear window, of course. And this third camera, like, where do you put it? You know, I cannot put it outside. It's not designed for, you know, low and high temperatures. It's it's supposed to be inside. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll put that one. So, I want to see first. That's why I decided to install it here. Because, you know, I have a nice car. You know, I just got it in the summer, right? I only have like 2,000 kilometers on the odometer. So, I want to protect the car. In case something happens, somebody hits me or something, you know. And this way, as soon as you start, as soon as you start the engine, uh, it starts recording because that 12 volt uh, plug uh, has no power unless the engine is running. So, which is pretty cool. So, so I don't have to do anything. It's be fully automatic, you know. And also, uh, I thought it might be cool just to to uh, use it for vlogging, right? So let's say I'm driving. I don't have to bring my other camera. I can just start talking and uh, do picture in picture, you know, all this cool stuff. But yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that cable in the mirror there. See the cable? I don't know if you can see it, sorry. Uh, in the back there. But I can, I can hide it better. Yeah. No, nah, it's okay. So that's what I'm doing today. And I met with uh, my uh, friend, uh, my new friend, uh, Francois, the, uh, another accordion, accordion uh, fanatic. He has 13 accordions, right? And so he agreed to take a, look, take a look at mine and he found some issues over there. So, and he gave me a temporary, like old one to practice while he was working on mine. And so we met this morning in Milton, because it's it's halfway he lives in mississauga i'm in cambridge so we you know if i don't want to drive all the way to mississauga he doesn't want to drive all the way here so i said let's meet in milton well last time i met him in my truck and when i was on my way to sudbury with that uh, pie player and so now i just picked it up you see the box over there and give him back give him back his his old accordion and so yeah, today everything is good. 
and lively you know lots of traffic people are everything is packed you know i just got some beer for the for tonight got some apa beer ipa sorry india india pale ale and over there we have a grocery store might probably go buy some groceries i'm staying at a hotel nearby but i know that tomorrow well actually i checked starbucks starbucks is open every day this week uh except they close uh, earlier than before but i usually i like going there in the morning and so tomorrow for example it should be really really um empty and i celebrated uh christmas eve i went to a restaurant over here it's called country girl country girl you know like in the states that would be the favorite truckers restaurant except you know because you know country country girl but man they you know the food they do there you you might need a a, a wheelchair when you're done so i had some mexican mexican omelet with some avocado and some dry toast and some uh, you know uh, sliced potatoes not like fries but you know just they take a whole potato and they just slice it and then they put it in oil and then i said i'm gonna place the order right now for the second course but please don't bring it to me un un until i finish this one and they have pancakes but not the pancakes that are called pancakes in canada in the states because that's not pancakes but they call they have these crepes right and one of the one of the items on the menu was it's called crepes with fruit and they give you two crepes like a very thin pancakes right like the way they're supposed to be and they put quote rich english cream end of quote inside and then they put like i don't know half a kilo two pounds of fruit you know uh, melon no what i'm uh, yeah melon slices of melon orange kiwi strawberries you know like fresh fruit uh, blueberry man i couldn't finish the fruit so it was so much but i got i got all the crepes went down so that was probably i don't know with omelet and crepes it was probably like two thousand five thousand calories so now of course you gotta i have to go back to my hotel room think about my bad behavior and write down my uh, christmas and new year resolutions and we'll go from there but anyway so now i think i attached this thing about probably 10 15 minutes ago so i'm gonna drive now without connecting this thing i'm gonna drive to to uh, to that store over there through this parking lot buy some food so i'm thinking by the time i finish shopping we should be good to connect this this dash cam and by the way the the name is uh it's called uh, rexing rexing s1 and uh, they give you this booklet right like looks solid except when you look at the content why it's so thick because it has english italiano spanish then probably chinese french and german Thank you for choosing Rexy. It's probably made in, in, in China somewhere. Yeah, made in China. But it was shipped from, I got it on Amazon. It was shipped from uh, uh, Connecticut. Yeah, I see nothing is in the way. I just hit it like that over here and then here i wrapped it a few times around the mirror and went in there and actually i put the rest of the cable inside the glove compartment 
can see like this side is is nice and as soon as i as soon as i <laughs> yeah it's hard to see but basically that's me this camera and this is the rear camera and the biggest part of the left is is the front so wow it does so i see so i see myself on the top right like check this out hold on so as soon as i start the engine so yeah see nothing is in the way i just hit it like that over here and then here i wrapped it a few times around the mirror and went in there and actually i put the rest of the cable inside the glove compartment you see like this side is, is nice and as soon as i as soon as i <laughs> yeah it's hard to see but basically that's me this camera and this is the rear camera and the biggest part of the left is is the front so I wonder how the audio is probably very not very loud but I see there's a microphone right here uh, but so now we're gonna go for a test drive and see what's what and also there's a confusing feature on this um, The confusing feature is called loop recording. Loop recording. And you can choose the 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 length and it says one minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes or off. And I watched the review. I watched the review online. Where the guy was installing it and he was doing like a professional installation and so you know he put it like it's supposed to be he put it under the uh, under the ceiling in there So when he was talking about this, he says, well, we have this feature loop recording. So what it means is that if we choose one minute, the camera will, the camera will record over that one minute segment. Like what the, you even listening to yourself as you talk? <laughs> So the whole point of this dash cam is to protect uh, protect yourself from an accident, right? And if, if the camera only keeps one minute in memory, it's just useless, right? So, so unless the accident happens, you know, within the past minute, like, what's the point, right? There's no point. So I'm pretty sure what, it's just that it's a wrong translation because that manual, it looks like it's uh, translated from Chinese, you know? And I think what they meant is, because I had dash cams like this before, but not this fancy with three cameras, but different one. And I think what they mean is that how long is the actual video file before the camera starts recording again. And I remember by, by default it's one minute. And that's not good because then you end up with like, you know, if you record for uh, five minutes, you have five files, right? And then it starts recording over uh, the oldest one. So that's how they're supposed to work. And so I always change that. I don't need one minute because then you're, you know, if you're trying to find something, let's say I had a dash cam like this on my truck, and I was driving and at a certain point a huge eagle flew in front of my truck um, 
and you know, and I'm driving of course you know 95 kilometers an hour and that flight of the big bird you know happened like it was less than a second and so I remember sifting through these hundreds of videos that the dash cam recorded on that day I could not find it I could not find that eagle and after that I changed the, the length to five minutes you know for each file so that I don't have so many files anyway so this is gonna be a test uh, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna show you the pre-Christmas Cambridge avoid that intersection as much as possible Hespler and pine bush and so usually I like going here yeah sometimes I stay at this at this one sometimes at this one on the left but now I'm at a more more modern one Prices are, are, are great because we still have, uh, you know, reduced numbers of American tourists, and straight ahead is the cab truck service, and then to the right is uh, cab, but for equipment like uh, excavators, dozers, and here we have John Deere which is now owned by Brand the Tractor from Western Canada and so yeah, this is just basically a test to see how I like it if I like it, I might buy a similar thing for my truck this was about uh, 250 I think, 250 bucks maybe a bit more but the guy who uh, recommended me this the cabbie from NYC he said this thing it can see in the dark like literally if you're driving in semi darkness this thing has some kind of a special mode which will kick in when there's not enough light for the regular camera for the regular sensor so this is Mac Mac uh, body shop this is where I picked up my uh, Mack truck when I got it because they bring him here and then they do the final pre-sales thing like in my case they were installing they were installing the uh, lift axle claiming that for some reason it cannot be done at the factory I still remember I was wondering about this one.